things I didn't know you can't do when you're pregnant, using steam rooms, saunas and jacuzzi. Okay, so the main reason you're told to avoid spa days when you're pregnant is because we advise that you don't use steam rooms or saunas or hot tubs. And we also advise you to not have any non-pregnancy specific massages. Now, the reason you're told to avoid the heat, so the hot tubs, the saunas, the steam rooms, is because naturally in pregnancy, your blood pressure usually drops. It d decreases because of lots of factors about the pregnancy and it gets to the lowest point when you're about in the middle of pregnancy, when you're in your second trimester. Obviously, some people have problems with high blood pressure in pregnancy but that's a different thing in a normal pregnancy your blood pressure will be lower than normal if you then get get into for example some very hot water or you get into a sauna that can drop your blood pressure further and that can be dangerous both to you because you end up feeling quite dizzy you can even collapse you can faint because your blood pressure drops too low um, and that can give you a risk of for example head injury but it also can reduce the blood flow to the placenta temporarily when you've got a low blood pressure so that can affect the baby so that's why we say don't go anywhere excessively hot now don't panic you can still have baths in pregnancy but we just recommend that you don't make them super hot baths and you've got to be careful when you're getting out again and similarly we advise you to avoid a massages unless they're a pregnancy specific massage because we don't want you to lie completely flat on your back um, and obviously you won't be wanting to lie completely on your front um, so you'd normally need to be lying on your side for a pregnancy specific massage